Hey guys, uh, this is going to be a video covering the new advanced options that were recently added to GSA Search Engine Ranker. Um, one of the biggest things that were added is the ability to automatically build a master link list for you. What that does is as you have projects running and you have your links being verified or successfully submitted, it will actually put all those links in a folder of your choice and will continue to build up your link list and separate them by platform. So an example to show you is here's one of my link lists. This is my verified link list and you can see that the software has built building these link lists for me automatically just by my projects running. So you can see here I have a media wiki link list that is loaded with tons of media wikis that I've already posted to before and have been verified so I know that these work. So uh, basically this will automate the process of building these lists for you. So all you need to do is click the create list of found sites button right here and then you choose if you want to save uh, your successful submissions or only your verified submissions or you can save both and you gotta make sure and come down here and set the folder of where you want those submissions to be saved um, and pick your file name format I'm using the type name file name format you can see how it's saved like this also you have the ability to import your own scrape list and have the, the software automatically sort through it and identify the platforms for you this can be a completely random list with a uh, platforms mixed in and the software will handle it and pick it out for you and it will save it into your folder that you choose here it does the exact same thing it'll separate them for you and the way to do that is you would go to the tools button click import URLs and import it from a file or a clipboard so I'd select my file and you get better success rate if you click the disable proxies you don't need to enable proxies for it to identify platforms because it won't be using um, it won't be scraping from search engines or doing any posting it'll only be identifying platforms and sorting them for you so you can disable that um, if you don't want them saved into this folder you have set here you can actually save them to a custom file so you would load it, click OK, and it'll start to sort. Also, if you've had a bunch of projects already running and haven't set this up yet, you can actually go here, add URLs from projects, pick if you want submitted or verified, and then you can select your project here, and it will automatically add those URLs to your site list for you. Another cool feature is the ability to now scrape from the search engines. Software has its own built-in scraper. Up here at the top is where you would enter your footprints. If you wanted to use uh, Power by MediaWiki, I don't even know if that's a real footprint, but as an example. And then you would pick your search engines here from where you want to scrape from. Um, down here if you want to save it to a custom file you can do that you can disable proxies when scraping if you want I would probably leave proxies on and then you have an engine filter here so say when you well, when you scrape from the search engines you can pull you're only getting the results that they're gonna give you so you'd be getting results from all different types of websites and if you only want it to find or if you only want it to save the media wiki sites you would go in here and you would find that platform which would be right up here where are you media wiki you would select that and then you would click OK and you'll see it's how it sorts it goes and starts scraping the search engine you can see it already finding some here and it is saving them to your folder that you have set identified 
So I'll go ahead and abort this. And now any of the scraped targets or links would be saved in the MediaWiki site list here. So now you don't necessarily have to go to another pl uh, software like Scrapebox to scrape for new websites or targets. You can actually do it right here within the software. Oh, and another thing I forgot to mention is the software has built-in footprints that you can use by just selecting down here what type of platform you want to scrape from. If you you just pick and it loads in the footprints. You can pick whatever you want. And you can see all the footprints are automatically loaded. <clears throat> and then you can start scraping. The other option is search online for site lists and it's pretty similar to the search online for URLs but this one specifically scrapes from certain websites like pastebin.com where people will paste uh, and share URLs um, and there happens to be a lot of shared uh, social bookmark sites and uh, media wiki sites and stuff like that so this actually has this built in you can select select which platform or which website to scrape from Pastebin is probably the best one. So you would select that and then you can select say you wanted to scrape media wikis from there and it will automatically you can see how it adds it right here it says site Pastebin so it will search Pastebin for any URLs that contain uh, these footprints and this actually works really good to find extra uh, links and link targets and that will also be saved in your identified folder your other option is remove duplicate URLs this will remove duplicates from any of your folders here you can remove duplicate domains and then the last and not least is show stats if you want to see how many of a certain platform is in each of your folders you just click on it and it will show how many you have in each one. The last feature here in the advanced options is run in debug mode and this was just something that some users requested. It'll give you a little uh, breakdown and a message of why a website has failed a submission. So if I go ahead and start this campaign I'll show you how this works. If you just click this, your debug window will pop up. And as soon as a submission fails, it will load in here and it will give you a message maybe saying um, unknown field used in form. Here we go. No form at all. Required variable URL was not used in form. It just basically gives you a breakdown of why uh, certain submissions fail and it's just a little debug window you can actually leave it up and running while you're while you're using other things in the software I'll go ahead and close this for now and also when you are inside of a project and say you want to use your newly made uh, global site list say you want to use uh, some of the a list made from your global site list all you need to do is click the new button go to options and when you create your project you can select use URLs from global site list and what it will do is it will pull those URLs and use them inside your project and while it's scraping or if you want you can select check none on your search engines and it will only pull the URLs from your site list and it pulls the URLs from all three so uh, if you only have this set up it'll use the URLs from here if you have sub this one this folder set up so basically it'll pull them from all the folders and that's basically the breakdown of the newest advanced options